Hi folks, I'm Rod with Johnson RV in Sandy, Oregon. We're just outside of Portland if you're looking at the map. And uh, today assisting me behind the camera is Nick Henderson. And I want to invite you, if you need to call in for additional details on this coach, you can ask for myself, Rod, or Nick. We'd be happy to help you, of course. First thing we're going to do is we're going to run the outside of this coach. This is a brand new 2023 Elante from Jacob. Very nicely put together, Class A motorhome. And I think about people, maybe you've had an RV before, you've had smaller RVs, maybe a Class C. Maybe just the two of you, might be a family of four. This is very convenient for either one, very versatile floor plan. But it's a nice move up from a Class C. And, uh, it's only a 27A, so it's probably 28 and a half feet long, so it fits really well into the little state parks and things. Sometimes we'll have length restrictions. But still, that big Class A spacious feeling that you get from this type of motor I'll point out a few things about what Jayco does here. First of all, I think, well, I believe they have the largest windshield in this class. And so here you've got this motorhome going down the road and you can really take advantage of that for those long drives in the beautiful countryside. There's just no problem with visibility at all. It's exceptional. Well, they just about any other class A motorhome. This one's built on the new Ford chassis with the new uh, five, uh, 7.3 liter Ford gas powered engine. Uh, this has more torque, more power. It's a little more efficient on the gas mileage, so that always helps down the road, of course. Come on around now. So again, a 27A, it probably measures probably about 29 feet overall, 29 and a half feet, keeping it around that 30 foot figure. And uh, it's got several things. It's got the outside storage now, side opening doors, which is really nice, it's easier to get in and out of. And then for a short little Class A motorhome to have pass through storage, might be hard to see in there because it's all blacked out. But it's nice black rotocast interior, so if you needed to, if you put firewood, that sort of thing in there, and you can hose it out, blow it out, you can. That pass through storage comes in handy for tables hunting gear, fishing gear, skis, boots, poles, the whole works. We've got another storage here. This is just a cubicle here. But look at that, for 28 foot, 29 foot Class A, exceptional storage. We work our way around. Access points are important. This is just a little key storage area. You can put hooks in here, hang wires, or, or hoses, or cables, that sort of thing that you might need for a different thing you're doing. And this is another little pass. This is not a pass through, I'm sorry. It's not a pass through, but another storage area you can find. Um, Nice length power awning with LED lighting. So when you set your patio up, just the push of a button, your awning comes out, you've got your space identified, and then you've got a lit patio at nighttime. Place here that you can stub off if you like. You can have a little outside cooker. So you can cook hamburgers inside, fish, food outside. You come around the back, the point out it's already hitched and ready to tow. You have about a 5,000 pound towing capacity. And it reminds me to mention to you that Jayco does a lot to their chassis for your ride. Got the J-Ride suspension on this, it's upgraded springs, sway bars, shocks, that sort of thing, which really allows you to have a comfortable drive on those long drives. It can, they can really wear you out in some motorhomes. Jayco's done a lot to, to alleviate that issue. Backup camera, nice ladder, sturdy ladder to the top. Handles me quite well. And you've got your slide outs. You've got two slides on this side of the coach. You'll see how that benefits the, the floor plan when you get inside. It gives you a lot of space in the bedroom. Normally a 28 foot wouldn't have that. But I'll just point out here, notice a nice clean ca uh, cabinet space here for your connections, your outside shower, winterization, power cord. The water system on this coach is filtered, so that's nice. Holding tanks controls are under here. And then of course the corresponding cabinetry over here for storage and your generator is located right next to that. So that's kind of a brief look at the outside. There's so many things to tell you about. Jayco and what they put into the motorhomes. I hope you'll give us a call. We'll talk to you more about it when you call or come out and see us in person. Let's go inside and take a look at that boat. I think you'll be impressed.